Well, it's early in the morning, Easter week. I am a few days before Good Friday. I thought, why don't I film early in the morning today, which I am. Morning feels a little different outside. I don't know if you're an evening person or a morning person, but either way, uh, I'm enjoying this morning. I uh, hope you are having a good day. Some things I wanna just mention, and I talked about being thankful on Sunday, on Palm Sunday. One of the things that was kind of cute to see was, it's been a few years since we've been able to do this, but on Easter Sunday in person, we waved, raised up over our head, palm branches. And uh, that's the first time you've been able to buy them around here for a few years. So it was kind of fun to do something, uh, even as a church that we all uh, used to do. Uh, if you're listening to me right now, one of the things I preached on was being thankful and praising the Lord. When the people, uh, the disciples and the people with them entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, it said they, in Luke, they all began praising God for the miracles they had seen. When Jesus raised, just a few days before Palm Sunday, really, uh, Lazarus out of the dead, he said to Martha, did I not tell you, if you would believe in me, you would see my glory here on earth. And Martha was thinking, well, I'm gonna see it in heaven. People were praising the Lord because of things they'd seen. And the Bible gives a word for these things that you see. It's called a convincing proof. Uh, it's like a legal statement. It's something that's logically and definably true. And that's what made them witnesses of the resurrection. But it's also why they praised the Lord on the day of Palm Sunday. They were praising because they'd seen what Jesus could do and the proofs that he offered, raising Lazarus, for instance. All that's a big statement, but what it really boils down to is, are we thankful for the things that God has given to us? Praise, praising the Lord, is a response to holiness, seeing God's character, seeing who he is. Are we thankful and praising God and being thankful for all that God has let us enter into? A lot that we could be negative about in the days that we live. <laughs> Uh, I could give you a list a mile long, but today, Easter week, are we praising the Lord? Are we thankful for what we've been given? Just ask yourself maybe that question. Ask the Lord to guide you, even if you can't, if your thankfulness is limited, if your praise is limited. Maybe, Lord, you've kind of sheltered me even for something that could have happened or whatever it is, just take a moment and thank him. I think being thankful is something that's appropriate at these times. To praise the Lord. Not the easiest in the last two years, but together take stock and, you know, God, thank you for what you've done. That's something of the heart. It's not the easiest to do. Um, I talked with someone uh, uh, last week, a pastor uh, that's been in the ministry for over 50 years, and they said to me, it was a lady actually, she said, I've never seen the effect that this last two years has had on relationships on people uh, that this has had. Never, never seen anything like this. And she's not been alive for 50 years. She's been in the ministry for about 50 years. So it's not the easiest thing uh, to be around today. And I just encourage you, praise the Lord for something. God can find you in this moment and give you something to praise about. In Jesus' name, amen.